Hey there, John Morris here. I'm a developer here at Wishlist Products and a blogger over at johnmorrisonline.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the full level information for a particular membership level. And again, as always, I'm going to show you both the external and internal methods for doing this. So let's go ahead and dive in um, a little bit about the setup. Uh, this setup is pretty straightforward. So you see I have this chunk of code here for the external request that's actually getting the level and then we're printing it down here and then for the internal request this is the code that uh, gets that level and uh, again printing it down here. Okay so we're going to start off with the external method first. Again uh, as I always mention I don't need to require the wmapi.php class here because it's already included in the latest versions of wishlist member so those that class is already available so all I need to do is instantiate a uh, new instance of that class here also the API URL and API key are defined as constants further up in this file so that uh, I'm not displaying those here because they go to do go to an actual site all right, so with the setup out of the way, let's go ahead and cover this again. Like I said, I'm instantiating a new instance of the WM API class, passing in the API URL and the API key. I'm setting the return format to PHP, and then I'm specifying what level ID I would like to retrieve information for. Now, depending on what your application is doing, you may either specify this manually like this when you know you want information about a, a certain membership level, or you may do this programmatically so you may get a list of all of the levels first and then you may display information about all of them or each one of them or you may somehow filter that array for a particular level name or however you uh, happen to do that uh, uh, ultimately what you need to, to arrive at is getting a uh, getting the level ID for the level that you want to retrieve information for Okay, so that's what I have here. I've just specified them manually uh, to make it a little bit easier to uh, work with for the demo. And then for our actual API request, we're calling the get method and we're making it to the levels resource and we're passing in the level ID. Now you notice I'm essentially uh, creating a contentated string. So unlike when you just get a list of all the levels, how you rem have this slash removed, here you add the slash and then you contentate the string to add in the level ID. So essentially what this is going to look like if you were to echo it uh, is it would look something like, uh, well let's go ahead and just like this. So this is the actual resource that you're, you're grabbing here. Um, we're just creating that contentated string in here. Um, to make it a you know a little bit easier to work with so that you could switch out this level ID as need be. Again, you could very easily just put the level ID inside of here like this and get rid of the contentation if you wanted to too. It's really up to you. Um, I just like to separate it out in case I need to change things or whatever the case may be. So again, the get method, the levels resource, and we're creating um, we're passing in the level ID for a specific level that we want to get information for. And then here we are unserializing the response and down here we're going to print it. Okay, so let's go ahead and head over to the site and we'll refresh this page and we'll take a look at what we get back from the response from the API. So again, this is a return request, an external request, so you know it's a HTTP, HTTP request, so it does take a little bit uh, longer than the internal request and you'll notice here that again we always has have the success entry we always have the supported verbs down here and then in between we have our actual level and we have all the information about that membership level the ID the name registration URL uh, the after login and after registration redirects all of the different options that we could set in the back end or if we were to have created this via the API, we have access to all of that information here. Okay, so again, depending on what your application is, you may use different pieces of information for different things. All right, so that's the external request for getting uh, a particular membership level. Now let's go ahead and head on over and take a look at the internal request. So we'll go ahead and uncomment that. 
Again, the first thing that you'll notice is that this is significantly uh, a lot less code. Uh, we could actually make this one line if we were to take this and just copy it in here. Again, for demo sake, I just left it out so it was uh, similar to the external run. So, you know, there wasn't necessarily any confusion there. So, again, we're calling the WLM API get level function and um, we're passing in the level ID in order to get information for that particular membership level. Now, again, this is running on our internal site, whereas that uh, our previous request was running on the external site. So we're actually going to get a different, you notice the IDs are different because we're going to get a different membership level. All right, so let's go ahead and run over here and check this out and see what our response is. And again, you'll notice that the information about this level you get back is, is you know it's exactly the same whether you do an internal external request now of course this is a different membership level so the values are different but the array is structured the exact same way whether you use the external or internal request All right, so again we have the ID the name the redirects so on and so forth all the different information about that per particular membership level alright so that's pretty straightforward um, uh, explanation or pretty straightforward usage for this particular function. Um, again, the the internal function is WLM API get level. And if you want to again check that out on the codex, you can go to codex.wishlistproducts.com. You'll see all of the different functions and class documentation. Also, I'll I'll link to it below this video so you have access to it and you can see it tells you exactly what it is, what it does, gives you example code, example output let you know um, where that comes from in the API methods class. One other thing I want to show you while I'm here is you know, if you if you are using the external request and you want to get a little bit of an idea of how to make those requests um, you can actually go to if we go into projects you go into wishlist member core API helper and the class dash API dash methods dot PHP file that is this file and this is how this is the way that I am actually connecting to the wishlist member API when you use the uh, the built-in functions. So you notice that we're checking to see if it's internal or external. Um, and then this is actually inside here. You can kind of get an idea of what how you might uh, generate your your request to the API if you're looking for example codes. This is a great place to come because. You know, I've, I've essentially gone through every uh, resource and every method that's available in the API and there's code written right here in this file for it. So um, you can see in here, this is if we're doing an external request, you can see that uh, you can see exactly how I wrote that and you'll see that that's exactly the same as uh, what I have over or actually what I have over here. Okay, so. Uh, if you're looking for good example code, the clash-api-methods.php file inside wishlist member um, API helpers folder is a good place to look. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that lesson and got something out of it. Um, let me know what questions or comments you have or concerns you might have uh, after watching this lesson. Also, if you have suggestions for future lessons, let me know. I definitely like to work those in. Um, and let me know what you thought of the tutorial. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.